Okay, so this one looks like it might good. This one looks like it might be good. It's a it's a bug. So this is an error created by our Sentry integration, which is our error tracking tool. And uh, when GitLab.com has an exception, it gets logged in Sentry, and we can go in there and create uh, issues from the error that happened. So we have a backtrace here, undefined method pin for nil, nil class. So it sounds like we have an unexpected an unexpected nil pointer. And it's in app models integrations Prometheus.ruby. Prometheus client dumping. So let's go have a look at that file. Um, I'll go ahead and use the browser. Oh my, that's not good. Taking a while. Uh, so we're looking for app models, Prometheus. See, this is why I use the command P because there's so many files. I wonder, yeah, on merge requests, you can actually use command P to open files, but in a file tree browser, it doesn't work. Um, Wait, it's not what? Ah, ah, okay. In the merge request. I didn't know that. In the browser. Yeah, it's extremely neat. Yeah, let me, let me show you real quick if I- Oh, if wow, I yeah, I just on. did it. Wow. Yeah, on the diff here, I can open up index.html. Uh, I have another one that was merged yesterday. It has a lot more files. Yeah, even I was checking the MR that you just linked before for 3V, 3V, and even in the overview, if you press the command P, um, yeah, command P is like all the files there, amazing. Yeah, like, like this one's really huge, right? So if I want to open scanner.go, I can press command P and type it and open it up that way. So I think that's a really cool feature, I like a lot. That's a great, that's a great tweet. Yeah. All right, okay. So this is where the exception is happening and it looks like Prometheus client can return nil sometimes. So it returns nil if should return client is false. Uh, and that could mean the API URL is not present. Yeah, there's a bunch of conditions for that. Uh, but we have an implementation guide here. It says either return an object that implements the pin method following the null object pattern. I'm not familiar with that. Basically, an object that doesn't know up, I guess. Or include no method error in the rescue. I actually do not like either of those. If, if I was fixing this, I would, I would just add a, I would just add this. And this is like, this is like a null check. So if Prometheus' client is nil, it's, it's not going to execute pin and it's going to return, uh, it's going to return nil instead. But the problem with that is that, that we, we're returning the structured, the structured hash. So we don't want to return nil, we want to return success false with an error, right? Um, 
So yeah, I, I can see why they had that implementation plan now. So uh, we could do something like, like a, like if uh, Prometheus plan, then we can, you know, return false and then something like, something like that, or, or we could use the rescue suggestion that somebody had like rescue no method error. And then do the same thing. But you know, I don't really like that. Um, because I feel like I feel like we shouldn't throw an exception if we can check it. So I'd rather do something like that. And then you know you would want to go update Prometheus, but you can use this in the web ID. It's slow. It's slow because there's thousands and thousands of files in here. Yeah, I would much rather do this locally. But yeah, then you would want to go update Prometheus spec. And you would want to, you would want to add a test case to make sure that you check what happens when Prometheus client returns new. Uh, we call that a regression test because, you know, I think my personal opinion is that whenever you're fixing a bug, you should add a regression test. So find out what case this bug appears in and then add a test for that. And I'll make sure that this bug doesn't come back. Yeah, so that's one for GitLab. Uh, anybody nice. wondering anything about that? Any questions, friends? Oh. It looks like Marco found his merge request link. So let's take a quick look at that. Are you there, Marco? Yes. Okay, cool. So I am not sure where the discussion about the namespaces is. Uh Alan is one of my teammates. Uh, he's trying to find it now. He just texted. Right. Oh man, this is a big move. <laughs> huge. 120 comments. That's so huge. Well, when you combine lead ticket, which is one of. <laughs> which actually voted as the MVP of this release as well. When when you have Mark and Lee working together. <laughs> yeah, it's probably about this. So a timeline category belongs to a namespace. And I'm guessing a namespace can be either a project or a group. Let's see if I can expand all these threads. Oh boy. And, uh,
Yeah, I'm not sure, but um, for if you're wondering about the if you're wondering about the namespaces thing, um, the workspace group is the one who is working on that. And honestly, I would just ask them what they think because they'd be they'd be the one they'd be the best people to answer that um, because. You know, it's a work in progress, and I'm not sure if it's progressed to the point where we should start using it yet. So I would ask the work, the workspace group what they think and just use their suggestion. So let me send you the link to. Yeah, we have uh, we have this. This spot in the handbook. That has all of the team members and you would want to ask. Uh, go see, uh, this person right here. I know, I know their GitLab username. <laughs> yeah, this is the manager for the workspace team. And she would be the best person to ask about that. I don't expect community contributors to know that, of course. But uh, I think you should ask her. So. Let me see. If I can find the discussion, I can go ahead and tag her. This merge request is so big that the anchoring isn't working right. There it goes. Oh, you already asked her. <laughs> um, yeah, for, for groups, for groups, I think we are already migrated to namespaces. So you would want to use the namespace object instead of a group. You know, one of my favorite things about GitLab, about working at GitLab is that everything is written down. So, so you don't, you never have those situations where people are like, oh, we talked about this in a meeting, da, 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 and you don't know what people actually said. But here, everything is either on an issue or a merge request and you can go find it. Yeah, for, for this one, I agree that it should be a namespace. And it, it looks like you already changed it. So yeah, so th this is good. Uh, I approve. Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you for taking the time. Uh, that was really helpful. Um, I'm going to go and um, crop the video. To, to, to places because um, so, and then I'm going to reuse it. That, that was really, really, really helpful. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, I hope you can find another person to do the next one. Uh, I will ping around people. <laughs> <laughs>
um, <laughs> for sure. Th thank you so much. Thank you again, Ansul. Thank you, my Marco. Thank you, Brian. Um, and yeah, looking forward to see you in the next session, you all. And in the meantime, we'll see you online on Kitter or Discord or yeah, wherever we are. We're on, on GitLab, actually. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Hope you all have a good day. Thank you all. Bye.